Hey everyone, welcome to the Testing Academy and welcome to the series of Playwright E2E Web Testing with Java. All right. In this video, we will learn how you can automate uh, your API test cases using Playwright. Right. So in the past videos, we have learned about uh, different ways where you can do web automation. Now we are jumping towards the API automation. All right. So let's get started. So in the part two, what we will do is we will basically work on the uh, post request, patch request and delete request. And we will basically complete our CRUD operation in this. All right. So let's get started. Awesome, guys. So uh, we, in the previous video, we have uh, basically done this till now where we have basically successfully we are able to uh, add the headers to the request. We were able to add the headers. We were basically able to make a get request, right? Now to make a put request, right? We need to do, uh, I'm going to do a couple of important things is, yes. uh, here, uh, we can use something called as before class, right? Before class method and public void, let's say setup, right? Setup method, which basically do this thing. We will basically move our everything here. Okay. <clears throat> and we can move, uh, this part also. Uh, this part actually, yeah, I think we can do that. Okay. So here, what I have done is generic headers and uh, API request, uh, which is basically where we have mentioned only about the base URL headers. I move it to the setup method. Now uh, we will create another thing, which is after class, right? After doing this, what we need is uh, we need a public method, public void method. Let's say tier down. So tear down is basically it will run in the end and we will basically dispose everything. Cool. So we have modified our test case a little bit in this case. So the first request was, was the get request, right? Now uh, what we will do is we will basically do a post request. Okay. So post request, let's jump to the first of all uh, to the postman. To create a post request, we need to use post method first and we need to use the same URL. Right. So that is fine, but we need to pass this something called as body, right? If you see, we need to pass body where we have only two keys and value we need to pass how you can pass that. Right. So to pass something, uh, we will again do, we will basically create a map. Okay. Of string and string, right. And this will be our payload. Let's say it's a payload that we are sending. Okay. Payload of comments. Okay. Now we will basically say it's a hash map and that's it. Right. So in the payload put first of all, what is the first key we have body? So we will say, okay, body. Now I'm saying, uh, that, uh, that this comment will be, this is a comment from post form. Okay. And I'm going to use a shortcut control D to basically enter the post ID. So post ID can be anything. But uh, let's say I'm going to add by default one only, right? Now I want to make a request. So to make a request, we're going to use this and we will use post, right? It will basically ask me where URL. The first thing is asking me URL. Tell me the URL where you need to send this. Okay. So I'll say I'll, uh, I'll use the same thing. Comments. So comments. Okay. And it's asking for string. Okay. Wait a second, uh, my hand, computer hand. Awesome. So we are back. So we have a payload ready, right? So here, what we need is we need to send something called as request dot create, right? And we need to set the data. What data I want to set? I want to set payload, right? That's it. So we have given the URL, we have given the payload and everything is already done for us. So that thing, uh, what we can do is uh, in the similar thing that we have done it, right? For get one, we have basically called use something called as status, right? Here, what we will do is we will basically get an uh, response. So response. And here I'm going to type uh, this thing, right? Dot. I can say text. If you say we have a text available, right? And uh, this will return a, I hope so it returns a string. 
uh, yes okay so you can click on this icon and you can see that it's a string uh, this is also a url 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 map hash map and bytes so you know which what is they are returning so okay so we have a response so let's do one thing let's print out the response first response okay uh, so two things we will do uh, we'll i'm just commenting the get request as of now i'll just do a put request okay click on this and run uh, let me make myself smaller and let's see so setup is running wait 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 all right it's done okay so it's basically turning this thing and uh, how do we see okay so go to the postman get call let's see if uh, we there is another thing is okay so we were successfully able to create one request right cool so we have created the request now and uh, if you run it again let's let's run it again it should create a new one also right uh, okay awesome and if you say id2 two now we have two two things available to us cool awesome okay awesome so what i have done is one last thing but i have just added another thing which is json json dependency what we want is basically whenever we make a post call, right? So whenever we make a post call, we are getting this response, right? I suppose I want to validate this response that my body is uh, this, my ID is uh, whatever that this is generated and the post ID is this, right? So how I can do that is I basically, I have to uh, call a JSON parser. So I will use a JSON library. And what I have done is I have just used a very simple thing, which is uh, whatever the response is coming, right? I have made an instance of a JSON and here I have mentioned the response. And this will be a JSON object, right? Because whatever the response that we are getting is a response, uh, JSON object actually, right? So you can uh, you can get a JSON array as a response, JSON object, mostly, mostly these two things, right? So we are getting an object and in the object, I'm just get fetching the body, right? And here similarly, what you can do is you can fetch the ID and you can do the post also, right? And here, what you can do is basically now you can add assertions, right? So assert, uh, let's say assert, uh is it not null okay not null okay so we'll basically say that uh, id shouldn't be null so whatever the id is coming it should be it should not be null right and let me run now again this one so this will basically again uh create a new post request and it will basically whatever the response it is coming uh, we are basically saying and it's basically returning a null as of now it's uh so fine so uh, if you see we are getting this and oh it's a post id actually that's why okay so it's a post id that's why and here uh, our recession is passing and uh, we can basically see the report also uh, click on this click on this icon and it will basically open a chrome for you guys and it will basically give you the response right so yeah our test case are passing and uh, get call verification is passing so we have named it as a get call but actually it's a get and post so let's say it's a now it, let's say it's a crud call okay so uh, we have successfully done uh, the thing so we have a get call we have post call right similarly if you want to update something you can make it like a put call also the endpoint only the endpoint will change okay so let's do one thing so whatever which is coming right now let me modify this in a bit okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, basically comment the get call and uh, for the payload i'm just chased to patch okay uh, po post call we don't want that because we will not be creating a new request now right so let's hard code this so suppose i have uh, already six available right uh, here i can check that how i can check that is get call here okay so we have already right so every uh, i think id6 is already available so id6 uh, so url for patch only the url will change and the uh, payload so payload i have changed right so it should change to patch now so right now if you see the sixth one is post right so it should change after this and here uh, there are a couple of verification now uh, which is from the json so json one is returning so that's why i will just verify modify these things and let's run it again okay. so existing request we are just making a patch request that's it 
right similarly you can use a delete request also so method uh, only method you need to change and for delete you don't have to pass any kind of a payload so that's fine so here if you see uh, everything works fine and uh, here right so awesome so our uh, patch call works fine now and similarly if you want to delete you just need to do delete and uh, you don't have to mention any payload but if you mention it it doesn't matter actually and here uh, it will just delete it and this will fail because our id will be null in this case so this test case will fail actually but it will delete the sixth one uh, this is expected because we are uh, basically saying id is not null that's fine uh, let's see right see fifth uh, sixth is deleted successfully but since i that's why error that's why okay awesome so i hope this is clear now guys uh, this was the crud operation i hope you have learned something new in this videos uh, all the links and description code is available in the description don't worry and do check it out i'll give you more details on the video okay thanks for watching i'll see you next time